Awesome. Let's hear it for our drumline, guys. Good morning, Vikings. Is this the last time you're going to hear me say that? Probably not, because we're still going to graduation. But I know a lot of you are a little nostalgic because this is the last day that you will be spending here as a student. I expect you to come back, remember, and empower our community. So you will be coming back 10 years from now, and you'll be seeing everybody less hair, a little bit more weight, right? But with a lot more money, because you will be working then, right? Nice cars and just cruising and start showing off what you're going to be doing or what you've been doing for 10 years. So that's going to be amazing. We're here today for a very special occasion, okay? we Today, and I'm going to read this because I'm going to forget it, as you already know, it's an honor to welcome all of you to the special event where we will recognize seven of our students. Let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> With the BISD su uh, Superintendent Scholarship, the Superintendent Scholarship Fund was established in the spring of 2004 for the purpose of building a tradition of excellence and opportunity in the Brownsville community by awarding scholarship dollars for graduating BIZ students. Remember when I tell you, you got to apply for all those scholarships. Remember? 15, you got to do more, you got to do more. This is what happens when you apply. You receive money. So these young men and women are going to be receiving an award today. But before that, I want to thank each of for being here. I want to give a round of applause to our parents. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. It's an honor to have you here. I also on stage, we have the Gran Jefa, the Jefa, the Jefa tell you, I have a boss. And this is Dr. Sylvia Ann uh, Hatton, BSD Interim Superintendent. Will you please stand, boss? <laughs> Next to her, we have my boss which is Ms. Alma Rubio for the Pace Cluster. And next to her, we have the boss of the bosses, you know, the school board. As you already know, Mr. Erasmo Castro. Let's give him a huge round. We're going to start presenting our students and asking them to come as we have inspiring words for our guests. I am not sure. I know that the superintendent's going to come up and is going to say a few words. Let's give her another round of applause, please. When we present our students, then we'll go ahead when you we ask the names and we're gonna say a little bit something about them. Okay, thank you. That sounds perfect. Thank you, boss. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How hungry are you guys? They, they put this up right before lunch, huh? Y'all eaten yet? No? Although I do know that at your age, you guys are hungry all day long, right? <laughs> well, I promise this is not going to take very long. Uh, it is my honor and privilege to be here today to award some money. Uh, actually, each of these students up here will receive a $1,000 scholarship check today. And those scholarships were made possible through the generosity of our some of our district administrators and staff, our community leaders, uh, business leaders, friends of our district, who for the last 16 years, each of the last 16 years, we've had a superintendent's golf tournament. And the purpose of that golf tournament is for all of these members whom I mentioned to come together and spend a day of fellowship on the golf course and pay handsomely for that opportunity and privilege so that then we can turn around and award these $1,000 scholarships to some of our outstanding scholars. The selection of the candidates for these uh, awards or scholarships are done by a committee of district and community leaders. And they're done by reviewing applications without the student names on it. So there is no, oh, I know this student or this one. It's an anonymous process. And they're awarded based on merit. And every single candidate who applies merits that recognition. But something about these individuals and the others across our high schools in this district reached the heart and the mind of those individual committee members and they said, this is our choice. This young man, this young woman. And today I'm here to honor them on behalf of the committee and on behalf of all of us at the district who worked hard to bring these resources. I want to thank the parents, I want to thank the students for choosing BISD. 
we believe we're the best choice and we're glad that you agree with us. I wanna say to all of the seniors in this room, how many seniors? Awesome, congratulations to all of you. And I wanna say to you that I can guarantee you as the interim superintendent of this district that you are prepared for this next chapter, this next step along your journey of life. College, for those of you going to college, and I hope all of you are or will at some point in your lives go to college because it's definitely adds substantial value to your lives. College is different from high school. College gives you a lot more independence, but a lot more responsibility. The first semester is the hardest, bar none. You're there, you don't know how the system works. Here you've been somewhat sheltered. You've been with a cohort of friends. And believe me, this cohort of friends you've made through the years at BISD, through your years at Pace, they will be your support system for the rest of your life. They are the people that 25 years from now, 50 years from now, you run into each other at a reunion and it's like you don't miss a beat. All the beautiful memories come flooding back. All the tough moments that they got you through come flooding back and you realize how special and unique high school is. But college is a little different. You get to develop a new set of friends. It's kind of like being in kindergarten all over again. You have to build a support system. You build a new set of friends. And then you add to your bank of friends at every step of the way. Do not get discouraged that first semester if you've never s scored a D in your life and you get one, I did. Shock, that never happened to me in my life. I, I couldn't believe I actually made a D on a test. That's impossible, I didn't think it was possible for me to do that. Well, I found out it's quite possible in college. But you get over it, and you adjust to the college life or you adjust to the work life and you move forward and you keep growing and you keep getting better at life. But what I wanna say to all of you is always remember where you came from. Always remember to be humble and grateful. Always remember how blessed you are and you have been and you will continue to be and be thankful for that. Good things happen when people work hard. Amazing things happen when you work hard and you dream big. I know at baccalaureate I said dream big and then dream bigger and then dream even bigger than that because the reality of your life is that as long as you keep dreaming and setting new goals, you're going to accomplish great things. And at the end of the journey, what you want to say is, I did it all and more and I had a blast. Have fun along the way. Be successful, but remember always that this is home. This is home. Brownsville is home. Pace is home. Your family home is home. This is where life gets tough, you come home. When you have amazing victories in your life to celebrate, come home. Because this is where you will always be loved and sheltered and protected. God bless all of you on your next part of your journey. Have fun in life and enjoy every bit of it. I'm going to invite your principal back to introduce each student and give us some background on the student, where the student is going to do next. We will take individual pictures with uh, Mr. Castro, Ms. Rubio, your principal and myself with each student. Then we will do a group photo and then we will invite parents to come up and take a picture with their student and the principal and administration if you'd like, okay? The first recipient is and I'm gonna ask you to stand up while we speak about you, <laughs> say a little something about you. The first recipient is Alexis Arce. Thank you for the drum roll. Alexis Arce, four years bar bar varsity ba basketball player, four straight playoff appearances, 2016, 17, 18, and 19 two by district playoff, 
from Coach Lozano. Thank you for your four years of dedication to our basketball program. You have been one of the key pieces to our success and it's never of notice. You can always call Pace your home and you will be welcome back anytime to visit. We wish you nothing but the best and we know you will succeed in everything you set to achieve. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> Ms. Jennifer Avalos. <laughs> Jennifer Avalos is a member of the National Honor Society from Mr. Matias. Jennifer, sueña muy alto y lucha por conseguir tus metas, pero sobre todo no te olvides de ser feliz. Cada uno es el artifice de su propia aventura. Jennifer, no te olvides conquistar el mundo. Drum roll. We next have Mr. Jorge A. Castillo. Jorge is a member of the Division I Marching Band, U.S. Band of America, and Division I Concert Band. He wants to thank his mother, Raquel Aldape, for all the support all miss my high school years. I love you, Mom. Drum roll. Next, we have Ms. Anisa de la Garza, head cheerleader. Anisa has balanced interest in AP, dual credit classes with multiple extracurricular schedules, such as cheerleading, marching band, National Honor Society, and powerlifting. She participated in powerlifting and was one of the four students who qualified for regionals. She would like to thank her parents for always making her number one supporters all throughout high school. Coach Brandon, thank you for everything you do. Thank you. <laughs> Drum roll. Our next recipient is Mr. J.J. Jimenez. J.J. Jimenez, football varsity player for two years, soccer track player, National Honor Society Vice President, Skills USA officer, top 10%. Juan Jimenez is the son of Mario and Ana Jimenez. First of all, I want to thank them the men upstairs for giving me this amazing opportunity of helping me get to where I am. I also wish to thank all my teachers and of course my dad and my mom who I love them with all my heart. Drum roll. Our next recipient is Mr. Brian Pettis. Brian Perez is the son of Norma Perez and Crispin Perez. He is planning on attending the University of Texas at Austin to major in computer science. This student has accomplished many things in the time at Pace. He is an AP scholar, a band student, NHS Honor Society member, and he received the principal biking award from this year. From our band director, Brian, I can tell you, you are one of a kind. I have always instilled in my students to leave their best first impression, and Brian, you surely did it. Great personality, talented, and so invested in the mighty Viking Band program. Pace Band Directors would like to wish you all the best on your next chapter in life.
Drum roll, please. Our next recipient is our valedictorian, Ezequiel Sanchez Garcia. Ezequiel Sanchez, valedictorian, AP Scholar with Distinction, National Honor Society uh, Treasure, History Fair, STSA Qualifier, from Misair, you are very responsible, you are very honest, and you are very well respected. Before we continue, I want to thank our amazing drumline, please. Let's give him a huge round of applause. Sergio Elizondo, Ethan Salinas, Aldo Aguilera, Albert Vasquez, Jesus Rodriguez, Samantha Rodriguez, Fabian Perez, Diego Villarreal, Noemi Reyes, and Christy Castillo, and their amazing directors. Thank you so much. I also want to thank our cheer team out there. Huge shout out for them. <laughs> 